Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming. It's great to see a full room here because, uh, in fact, it was pretty much half full with the leaders this morning, so fantastic. Can everybody hear me at the back okay? Okay, so what, what is my advertising pays and, and why is it here? How many people have never been to this London event before? Give your hands up. Quite a few people, that's great. Yeah, new people, that's good. And we need to get these rooms <coughs> and events filled. But why is my advertising, what, what happened? How did, how did my advertising pay come about? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story, how it all, how it all started. Um, my wife and I have been in business about 28 years. We've had a number of different businesses over the years. Some have been great successes and some have been failures. If anybody in business tells you they're always successful, they're telling you lies because it's a fact that, that sometimes things don't work out. In 2012, we had a double glazing company in Manchester and we were selling windows, doors and conservatories and, and up until then we'd been doing very well. But the marketplace was failing for that particular industry at the time. And we were spending about half a million pound a year advertising online, which is why we started to look at alternatives as a business. Why is it that I'm spending that much money? And if I'm spending that much money on the internet, somebody's making a lot of money. And we started a little apprenticeship, Lynn and I. And we began to discover who was about on the marketplace. And we met many people. Simon was one of those people, some great leaders. But the most important one that we met was a guy called Michael Dees. Michael Dees was an internet blogger at that time. Uh, he'd been in the industry around about 10 years. And his idea approach to the market was simply blogging. He was advising people on the internet what to avoid, what to get involved with, and the whys and wherefores about that. Lynn and I were looking for people like that to take his advice, and indeed we became very confident in him over a period of time because his advice was good. He recommended some businesses that we actually joined and got involved with, and, and they did exactly what he said they would do. But rather than bore you with all the detail, through a, a 12 month period as we were following Michael, what we began to realise is not only does he know what he's doing, but he's a man of integrity. And what tended to happen with the industry in 2030, late 2012, early 2013, it seemed to explode. Many people started to come online with very different direct marketing ideas, and the industry grew in an incredible way. There were hundreds of new ones coming on every single day. But as a result of that, many leaders became very confused because their teams were jumping into all sorts of different pro programs and every one of them had a golden opportunity at the end of the rainbow. As a result of that, we started to see many of these internet businesses start to fail very, very quickly in early 2013. Mike wrote to Lynn and uh, he said, I'm not impressed with this, I can't continue in this industry. I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm finished. We were a bit disappointed, obviously, because we'd been listening to Mike and his advice. And when we asked him why, he said, well, I don't mind trying new things. There's lots of new opportunities, uh, and I, I have my acid test for these things. He was very experienced at looking at, at these different business opportunities. And he would try them, and if it didn't work, that's fine. He would, he would put that one to bed and, and try something different. And what he said to us was, I don't want to advertise an industry, a business, that people get involved in, but they'll ask 50 or 100 pounds into the opportunity, and then two or three months later it's gone. He said, I can't have that on my conscience, so therefore I'm not going to do it anymore. We were really impressed, obviously, with that, because he's obviously a man of integrity. This is before we knew him. This is before the birth of my advertising base. And we began to build an incredible confidence in this guy, from the other side of the world, over in Mississippi. So, Lynn said to me, well, what are you gonna do? He said, the only business that I will continue with, and the only one that I will trust, is one that I've built myself. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go missing for three months. He said, I've got some ideas, I'm gonna put this thing together. And off he went. Lynn and I, at the time, were employing about 50 odd people at the time, and we employed IT people, and we were looking at ideas yourself, let's have a look at our own opportunity on the internet. And we indeed started some brainstorming meetings and expected that we'd probably never see my deeds ever again. But sure enough, in June 2013, my deeds came on, yeah, June, yeah. June 2013, my did contact them again. He, uh, we used to follow his blogs online as we were traveling to and from the office. He sent Lynn an email, a call to action. Lynn responded to that, 
and she said, we'll organise a meeting with you as we get home from the office this evening. So we did. Uh, we had a Skype meeting with Mike Deans. It was the first time we ever used Skype and had a video call with him that should have probably lasted normally half an hour to an hour. But three and a half, four hours later, I was struggling to get a word because she was taking the, on the line of the bike. And we, we began to realise this guy knows what he's doing. And that's exactly the reason my advertising page was born from that day. The concept was introduced to learn myself. And we agreed to join Mike Dees on his journey. We began to get to know quite a number of people in the industry and introduced a handful of quality leaders. Obviously Simon was one of those through Mark Gobrill. And the thing took off at an incredible pace from December 2013, as we now all know, was the birth of my advertising pace. By the end of January or early February 2014, it was growing at such a pace, Mike began to realise that he couldn't just run this on his own any longer, and he encouraged Lynn and I, as we originally agreed, that we would help him manage my advertising pace. And so we were invited to go and spend some time with Mike. We went out there in March 2014. And we all basically stood there and looked each other in the eye. We were looking to see if he was the real deal, prod him and poke him and make sure there's no cracks. And he was looking at Lynn and myself. And what I can tell you, when you, you'll eventually all meet the guy, he's, he's everything he appears to be. He's, he's an incredible individual. He's a very down-to-earth, basic man. There's no airs and graces with my days, as Simon now knows. Uh, Rich has been out to meet him and a number of other leaders. Uh, he, he is what he is, and he cares about the individual that simply wants to increase or improve their standard of living. And he's very passionate about maintaining that. So, obviously with version one, he did extremely well, but it was so successful that it started to get tired, as we all know. There were lots of problems with it falling over. Uh, it, and it, it was a, a major issue, and what, what we had to decide to do in, uh, in last year was, do we continue to patch it and keep rebuilding it, or do we start afresh? During the course of the year, we decided that we, we, we had to rebuild the thing from scratch, from ground up. And the things that we wanted to introduce, version one was so overwhelmed by the number of people, you guys, in your success on that, that we had to build version two. And as we know, version two is now running. It's now starting to settle down and doing extremely well. But the beauty of it is, it now allows us to do exactly what we want, which means introducing more new products on the site. At this moment, we've got three types of income that we can all generate. Obviously, your profit share, you've obviously got your commissions, and then obviously you can sell products on the site and earn it that way. But my advertising page is about to launch four new products as we speak. Uh, one of the most important ones we're going to talk about today is the app. The app is a very, it's an incredible, everybody knows what an app is, but this particular app, what it's going to be doing is every time you get a profit share or a commission, it will go ka-ching in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice though, wouldn't it? When, when your buddy in the pub or the restaurant gets a bit annoyed about it, what's he going to say? What's that, what's that going on in your pocket? What did Anna say the other day? What Grandma, she... why is your phone keep going off like that? <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry, Fred, well, while we're having a beer here, right? you're losing money and I'm actually making money, and that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll be released very, very soon. It's in final testing, ladies and gentlemen. We've also got the publisher sites, we, we, we touched on earlier with Tony and, and Darren. The publisher site is going to be an incredible platform where it will allow all the businesses that you know, or anybody else out there can advertise their, their, their website can be published within the My Advertising Pay site. And vice versa will be an exchange where we can start to expand out into other people's websites so we'll do a share of traffic in that respect and that doesn't sound too exciting right now but believe you me when you realize there's, there's people looking for my advertising pays very very soon they're not going to need convincing to join this business yeah within the next few months we're going to have the third anniversary which i'll tell you about in a second and the excitement is growing it's reaching the point where people will come knocking on your door yeah but these tools are there to help you yeah now, beyond that, the company makes money by advertising, believe it or not. We've got the banners on there, we've got your membership fees, and all the other things that contribute towards the profit of the company, which is what goes in to the profit share. But we've now reached the point where we're getting over 120 million visits every month. 
And the point of this is, the benefit of this is, is people are now getting very excited about my advertising peers. Why is that? Because that's what any business wants. They want eyeballs to look at their advert, yeah? And now we've reached that level, we're now in a position where we can start introducing corporate advertising straight on the website. So when you introduce something to my advertising peers, you will very soon see the affiliate sign up button. And you next to that, you will see a new website, corporate advertising. And when the corporate advertising clicks that button, it will take you through to look at all the analytics. Now, can you imagine going into your local garage down the road, <coughs> and our website will tell him how many Ford Focuses that you people want to buy next year? Mm. And not only that, it'll actually tell him where to place the advert, where you're looking to get that information. Yeah. So there's many exciting things coming down the track, guys. And that's the building of my advertising peers. That's what my advertising peers was originally born to do. But you guys were so successful in the first two years, you burnt version one, how did that to die? And we've put it to bed sometime. When was it now, then? May? End of, end of April? Yeah. It was like a patchwork quilt, wasn't it, when it finished? Yeah, because everybody said, you can't be real, guys, it's April Fool's Day. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to come back for you, but we did. Yeah. So, the really exciting news, guys, is everybody's very keen to meet this elusive Mr. Deeds. Well, I can honestly tell you that this year you're going to meet him. He'll be coming over in December for the third anniversary. <laughs> But the details have yet to be launched, obviously we haven't finalised everything, but what we can tell you is it's going to be a very, very, very exciting event, and please, get there. You're going to miss a treat if you don't. Thank you very much.